All right, I'm gonna do a video on this Grand Turbo grill, doing a burner replacement. I'm doing this, not my business, not anything to do with this, because I couldn't find any information and everything I found on the internet was pretty much misinformation. So uh, if you have one of these uh, barbecue galore Grand Turbo grills, they come in different sizes. This is one of the big ones, it's a six burner, and it has a side, uh, uh, stove on it too and it's a natural gas so we have a natural gas here uh and anyway so the burners got bad on it and i'm in the process of changing them it's really a dirty job of course and it's time to really clean the thing up and if you have one of these you know it has the the, the drip tray here and pull all that and clean it out but these things are bolted in and uh you know some different Barbecues, I believe, have like a hitch pin with a pin that pops out. These are the Grand Turbo burners, and they don't have any uh, hardware that comes with them. Now, I bought these online. They're cast iron. I think they make a stainless steel one, which is nicer. Uh, and these are from Grill Parts Zone. Bought them on eBay. They're, they're fine. They're, they're good. Seem to be. Uh, Made in China, of course. Probably won't last as long as what was in there, but hard to say. So, basically what you have to do to get the old ones out, which the old ones are sitting over in a bucket, is take a grinder and grind off the tops of these screws that are here. So each one of these, I had to grind off because there's no way as old as this thing is and, and is uh, used as it's been that you could get any hard or any tools on there to get them off. So I ground the heads of these things off, popped them up and then pull out. And all they gotta do to come out is real simple. They just go in like this, it's your hole, push it in and that's it. But then you put the new bolt in here so it has to line up to the hole, which is right there. And I just got some stainless steel uh, nut and bolts and put in there and you know, the, they may last, they may not. And, uh, so when I have to change these again, more likely they might have to be ground off too. But uh, that's kind of the, the trick to those. And uh, so you just pop them in and out. Now, above that is the, uh, the ceramic tray, which I'm getting new ceramics for this now. I'll show you that. They're over here. They're actually in fairly good shape, a little dirty, but I'm just going to go ahead and change them. So these are like seven by fours or something like that. And you, they come in packs of fours and you just change them. And uh, you go from there. And here's the old burner, or old, uh, uh, yeah, burners. They're really not in bad shape. And I, I bet they would still work just fine. What happens with them is they seem to, to uh, fill up with soot. You can take these things, when I got them out, the soot just dumped out. So if yours aren't too bad, I just dump the soot out, they probably work better. That's probably the main thing that was wrong with the whole grill to begin with. Um, but model number on this thing here, just, and it, and it crosses to a lot of these, it's going to be up here. So that's the model number of this particular one. And those burners, I think they're uh, the long ones, which go in this grill, because there's like two different sizes for the barbecue galore. These are the, the longer ones, just the bigger grill. So, uh, I can't remember the number. Maybe it's on that box, but that's the, the part of the box right there. Um, cast iron burners item for that for this particular grill. So it's just a dirty job. Clean it up while you're at it, but that's how they go in there. They just slide right into the to each of the holes. So there'll be another one that I put in here in a minute and another one I hear put in here in a minute. And I'll even light one up to see how they, they work. So you just take it. I'm just going to put this, this one on high and put some flame to it so there's there's a new burner it's burning so the old ones were only burning in in partial places and some of it was rust and more than likely most of it was soot so that's a natural gas flame and of course the ceramics go on top and then the grill and that's it and that's your adjustment down to low uh, you know, off so Hope that helps anyone because I had to beat myself up over this and figure out how it was done. But the main thing is once you get them all out, it's easy to put back in. It's just, it's a dirty, dirty job. And uh, I actually thought I kept this grill pretty clean, but I guess I didn't. So <laughs> it's a nice grill. So that's uh, 
That's it. Barbecue galore. This is what it looks like with the top down. So you can see it. you have a similar model. That's it there. And then we actually put it right on the edge of this porch and the, the uh, chimney goes out. So that's a nice deal. But if I ever cook big stuff, I just roll it out here. And, and if I'm cooking hamburgers for 20 people or something like that, I do that. But anyway, hope that helps.